Hey YouTube, what's up? Aiden Reddy here, coming back at you with a quick video. I know it's been a while, but I'm just on winter break uh, right now. I'm going back in a few days, and I thought I'd just make a short video showing you guys a few of the things that I picked up around the Christmas New Year season. So first off, I got these side zip uh, black leather boots from Sandro Paris. I've actually been looking for a pair of boots like this for a while, just a uh, sleek style black leather with a side zip on the inner side. Just something really sleek that you can wear with a lot of different things from skinny jeans to wider trousers or even with a suit. So this is kind of like my poor man's version of the Saint Laurent uh, Wyatt boots without the harness. I'd actually like, those are kind of like a grail to me, but they're like $1,000 and I'm not really about to drop that kind of money. I was able to pick these up on sale. Um, Sandro had a uh, sale going on a few weeks back and these were originally $498 or something like that and I was able to get them for $196. So that's a pretty steep sale that I had and uh, as soon as I saw them I was like okay I've been on the hunt for a boot like this for a long time so here's an opportunity for me to pick it up. Now when I first got these it was super difficult to put them on and actually I ordered two pairs in two different sizes a uh, 43 and a 44 because I bought shoes that don't fit me before and I kind of just like lied to myself about it and tried to stick with it and I knew that's not what I wanted to do with these so I'm like alright I'll get two pairs off the bat so that way I'll, I can go with the one that I know is going to fit me better and I don't have to worry about that, ha that happening because they have free returns and stuff like that so it was pretty easy. So I tried on the 44 first which is a US 11 which is typically what I am in most sneakers but I know Oftentimes, shoes like this run fairly large. So it was super hard for me to put that on originally. And I thought, okay, when my, when my foot got in it, it felt a little big. So I tried this, I tried to put the 43 on, and it took me literally like 10 minutes using a shoe part and everything to get them on the first time. It's crazy. But um, once my feet got in there, I know they were a little bit snug, which is exactly the fit that you're going for with a pair of Chelsea boots, because the leather's going to stretch out, so you do want them to be a little bit snug. So yeah, this is an all uh, calfskin black leather upper, and then it's uh, got a uh, black leather sole. I actually would prefer that the sole were stitched on, like a Goodyear rope or something like that. I don't think it is. I think it's just stuck on with glue, which kind of isn't that high quality, and that's not going to allow me to replace these soles in uh, the future, which kind of is unfortunate, but considering the price that I was able to get these at and the style of them, uh, I'm still okay with it. They've just got this zipper coming up the inner side. Um, pretty simple, nothing crazy about it. It's metal, but it's not like the highest quality metal or anything like that, but it does the job. You've got a stitch coming down the outside, and you've just got another stitch coming down the back right there. You've got a rounded toe. Um, that's, that's the description they had on the website. It actually looks slightly square to me, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but I guess I would still describe it as round, but just I wish it were a bit less square than it is there, but not that big of a deal to me. When I first got these, I wasn't really sure if they had a legitimate leather sole because the bottom was kind of finished in like this very weird plasticky looking way, but now that I've worn them a little bit, I can clearly tell that they are a leather sole. Also, if anyone out there hasn't never really owned a leather sole shoe before, this kind of is just what happens. It's kind of inevitable. Um, some people like to go to the cobbler and get rubber pads put on the bottom of their shoes to kind of protect the leather sole, but I didn't really feel that that was necessary with these, but that's always an option if you're not really a fan of the way that leather sole kind of wear it. But yeah, I'm really happy to have these. Overall, it's a very uh, slick looking shoe, and uh, I'm glad to be able to have them in my wardrobe. I can wear them with a lot of things. Although these aren't like the highest quality boots, I would definitely say that uh, they are pretty high quality for the price that I paid at least. The leather on these is pretty nice. Uh, it's very smooth, very, very elegant. Um, I did put some mink oil, um, which is a common leather conditioner, cleaner, protector uh, that people use and put on their leather shoes. So I put a thin layer of that on, then I just sprayed it with a Kiwi brand uh, waterproofer just to preserve these and make sure the weather doesn't get to they come in this pretty simple white box here. They do also come with this pretty nice cream color uh, dust bag. Just got the Sandro screen printed right on front. Uh, black, full tabs, full strings, and then Paris written on the back. So nice if you are uh, bringing these to travel anyway.
not sure of the exact heel height on these, but I'd say it's a pretty moderate heel height. Um, it's not quite as high as the as some of the other boots, similar in style to these that you'll see out there, but it definitely has a little bit of height, so it makes them wearable. And these are still available on uh, uh, Sandra's website, so I'll link them below if you want to check it out. So next up, we've got this simple uh, pair of black jeans from Everlane in their slim fit. Um, Nothing crazy about these. They're very nice for the price point. They actually only retail for $68. If you're not familiar with Everlane or you've never had, owned any of their clothes before, I'd encourage you to check out their website. It's a pretty cool brand. But yeah, super affordable for a retail price. And definitely, I'd say a higher quality denim in construction than any other um, jeans I've seen for that retail price point. So thumbs up to Everlane for that. Fit on these is very nice, uh, in my opinion. It's not too slim, it's not skinny which is a look that I, I do enjoy sometimes. I was looking for a pair of black jeans that kind of had a balance there between a straight leg and also I still wanted it to be slim so these reached that balance for me. Another thing I'd like to say about the fabric is that I really love when you get a pair of new black jeans and they kind of just have like a sheen to them. That tells, you, tells me at least that it's a good quality denim and that it has a good quality dye that's going to last a long time. And these had these when I first got them so yeah, I definitely recommend these if you're looking for an affordable, but not sacrificing on quality or fit pair of jeans. And they've got a few other washes and they've also got a, uh, a regular fit too. These also have a mid-rise, which I'm a fan of. I don't really like when my jeans sit too low. In terms of hardware, you've just got a simple uh, gray, silverish looking zipper as opposed to a uh, button fly. And then all of your uh, buttons and rivets on the pockets are black. Last but not least, we've got this shirt uh, that I picked up on Mr. Porter, which if you're not familiar with Mr. Porter, it's one of my favorite online retailers. They do have a lot of really high-end stuff, but they have a twice annual sale where you can get some super great steals, and that's where I happen to get this. Their sale's still going on, so I'll link that below. This is from um, the relatively new uh, LA-based skate, surf, type brand called Noon Goons. All their stuff is made in LA, and it's kind of just got a very casual, clean style, in my opinion. So this is kind of like a bowling shirt design. Um, it's a little bit oversized, but not too oversized, in my opinion. And it's got this slick-looking bowling shirt style pocket here. It's got the uh, camp collar where kind of the, the top of the, the top of the shirt is kind of splayed out a bit like this. So there's no button, there's no top on this. Um, so it's meant to be more that way. In terms of your buttons, they are a see-through plastic with a little bit of black stripes. But there are two things that really make the shirt uh, very high quality and unique to me. First of all is the is the feel of the fabric. This is a fairly heavy weight twill that the shirt is made out of, so it feels very high quality right off the bat, and uh, it feels like a very substantial shirt, but at the same time not feeling stiff or uncomfortable. And then also just the colors and, and the stripe design, how it's a bunch of uneven, uh, unevenly sized stripes, and I really like the colors. You've got light blue, you've got a little bit of a purple, reddish, maroon color, nice black, and nice clean white. So these colors look really cool to me. All right, well that wraps it up. Thanks again for watching, guys. Um, if you want to check out my Facebook or anything like that, that will be linked below. Um, but yeah, see you later.